Celebrity alcohol. Which one is the best? Today, we find out, Pan. It's Andrew, my sweet baby boy. You guys know him, you guys love him. I did a video a while back with my pal Zoe where we ranked celebrity alcohol. So now we're here for part two. Yeah. Andrew here works in the industry. He knows a thing or two about a thing or two when it comes to alcohol. I'll be judging these as a normal, common clothed civilian. But you, in the army of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> this is Indago. This is Snoop Dogg. It's a strawberry flavored gin. Disgusting. With its laid back California style is like no other flavored gin in the world. I don't know if that will be true. I mean, like, it smells really good, but, like, oh, for, it, doesn't, for it doesn't smell like gin. It smells so fucking foul. Well, I don't think it smells foul. It doesn't smell like liquor. This just smells like really processed bullshit. Nothing about this is like, this is gin. No. Or alcohol. No, no, it smells like fucking Gatorade that has a little bit of alcohol in it. Okay, let's try it. I do not enjoy it. There's, there's so, uh, it's like hitting my tongue really fucking bad. There's so much more of a burn on that than I was anticipating. I don't like it at all. Tell me what the fuck you drink this with. I don't know, actually. Now that I think about it, it's like I don't know what I would do with this. Okay, you did this last night. You told me about notes and afterbirth. The aftertaste. <laughs> the afterbirth of What the is the afterbirth? Here's the problem. I'm not tasting much, to be honest, because there's so much burn coming off of it. All the flavors are immediately fucking muddled. And that's really gross and I want none of that. I would say fucking F tier dog shit trash. I would say it's D because I could drink it. I wouldn't want it. That though. is something that I do not think I should be putting in my body. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Harsh stands for Snoop. You got double G. What would you say to him if you were sitting here right now? I would say to him, careful. This is disappointing. Try again. Sorry, Snoop. Sorry, Snoop. You made some good songs in the 90s. Not too many since then. <laughs> <laughs> bourbon! Bourbon! Oh, this is gonna suck. You're a big bourbon boy. Oh. Well, I wouldn't say that at all. This is Brothers Bond. Who is it? James Somerhalder. Who? Paul Wesley. The guy's from Supernatural. Oh, I don't like the smell of that at all. Why? I don't know what about it or you're not liking it. It smells like a bourbon. So it's got that sort of caramelly sweetness. It's it smells like a bourbon, but there's something off about it. There is something off about it. There's something weird. There's I a thinness. I, I wonder I'll... if we'll place it with our tongues. With the mouthfeel. Let's try it, shall we? <laughs> to the queen. To the queen. Oh, she, she exploded. Way smoother than I thought it would be. It's profoundly smooth. There's like no fucking burn on that. There's also like no fucking flavor on that. It's hard to make a bourbon that tastes that bland. Yeah. So this is my fucking problem with all of these celebrity is that none of them fucking taste like anything. They're all going super safe with it. And it's just kind of like, all right, well, let's You made a thing that'll get somebody drunk, but it's not like good. Yeah, I'd say that that's a solid C. It's just inoffensive. Uninviting, uninspired, bad, ba not good, bad. B. B? No. <laughs> D. As in, as in derelict. Okay, we're doing Slipknot. Number nine, Reserve Iowa Whiskey. The man at the store didn't catch his name, unfortunately. He was very nice. He was a gentleman at heart. A gentleman, and he overheard us talking about celebrity alcohol when we walked in, so he was like, I'm gonna keep an eye on you. And he came up to us and he said, this is Slipknot's uh, whiskey. And he said, this is really bad. So I'm very excited. Can't wait, Slipknot. Oh, I love that sound. Nice. Clown. Wait, what does it say? Read it out. Slipknot and Cedar Ridge Distillery. Two groups of people born and raised in Iowa and committed to quality and hard work. We collaborated on number nine whiskey, which in addition to Iowa corn, gets some extra spice from its rye content. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. <laughs> Live life and always be safe. Cheers. Wow. I don't like the smell of it. That smells like gasoline. Literally, like, that just singes the fucking hairs all the way until your tonsil teeth. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's an F. It's the most burn I've ever had. You know what this is? This is exactly if there's somebody at the bar who's kind of being a uh, dick. I'm like, yeah, can I just get a shot of bourbon? I'm like, yes, you may, and I give him this shit. Yeah. Ah. It's one that like once it hits your tongue, your oh. body's kind of like, I don't want it, I don't want it. So it's like hard to put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying God? I say slip not. I'm going to cheese this. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's Honestly, I will say, fucking, I genuinely really like that label. Really? I do. Adam Levine and his wife, the Hottie Prince. Ah! Avril Levine? Ah! Adam. Oh, Adam Levine. Levine and his wife. The color I like. It's kind of rosy. Uh, because it's been aged for one to three years. God, somebody looked that up real quick. Am I right about that? I think it's one to three years. Because then a an extra añejo is past three years. I... God, I'm smart! Kind of... Like some vanilla. Cr it's very, very... Smooth. On the nose. I, th I think that picking up... Alcohol. It's, Way harsher, way fucking harsher than I was anticipating. For an añejo, that's definitely not smooth enough. No. Basically, the longer you barrel age it, it should make it smoother kind of know. thing. Like, I'd do a shot of it. Yeah. yeah. This is The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne, The Rock Johnson. So, um, I should say, I have history with Terramana. Dude, I was going up to camp, and I thought, might as well bring a bottle of tequila. And I bought their... Blanco, and it was fucking disgusting. Oh. It was a horrible, horrible, horrible tequila. So, let's see if they can do it better with their añejo. <laughs> oh, like this smell. Well, that's just straight, like, out. ether alcohol smell. There's no barrel on the nose, there's no vanilla, there's no nothing. The barrel's all gone. No, you know what it is? Ah, ah. As you're smelling it, I'm gonna tell you what it smells like, and you're gonna go, yep, a pale. Swimming pool filled with just ether alcohol, like running alcohol. <laughs> Why is swimming pool? Well, because it's got the chlorine of a, of a public pool. Remember in the cave? You could shower in there in the bathroom. It was so scary. Because you know, there were so many crocking balls all yeah. around. You'd go in there, and there'd be old men standing around with their fucking balls. They're just hanging long all day long. And I'd say, sir, I'm in high school. I once saw a man there with a double barrel penis. <laughs> Two shafts. Top by each. I mean, one. <laughs> Top by each. Top by each. Can you imagine that visual of just double cock? Like. It's like a. It's Isn't like there a, a guy with two penises? Yeah, oh, 100%. His name's Danny, I know. <laughs> Just the visual, though, of like a double decker London bus, but instead it's such crock and balls. It's <laughs> just crock and balls. Do you think that if he has two shafts, he has four testicularly? I don't think it works like that. Do you want to know why? Why? Law of averages. Law of averages. You don't even know what that is. <laughs> I want to taste this shit. Hey, to the rock and balls. <laughs> Oh my god. I really hated that a lot. Yeah, that's that's a I'm gonna pop it in D. Oh we didn't do Adam Levine. That's a D. On the Adam Levine. Yeah. Uh, uh C. C? C. Okay, we'll we'll C. go with C. This D. This D. This is this is fucking gross. This is fucking gross. And that oh, I'm gonna out. put this in F for me. I really didn't like it at all. We're gonna do Lobos 1707. I, I found it. Who is this? Who is this? LeBron James. Oh! LeBron, how do you smell? There's <laughs> <laughs> burn on it. It's, I. Oh! <laughs> I don't like the way it smells at all. Oh, that's. <laughs> Oh, it's not tastes... digging that one. I have, I have, I have <laughs> tried so many, <laughs> so many fucking tequilas in my life. It's my shot of choice. It's, it's I love trying new tequilas and mezcals and like, I love them. It takes so much for me to 
I have to like steady myself. This is fucking shit. I want to try the swivel stick. This? Yeah. Well, this is going in a D F F F or F. Grand Coromino. This is tequila. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. This is Kevin Hart. Oh, Kevin. and uh, this was a note from Jocelyn before we started. All of these are solely owned by the celebrity that we have said. No other owners. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a weird burnt plastic smell in this, right? There's a weird burnt Kreischer smell. Dude, I think burnt Kreischer smells fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink this tequila. Kevin Hart. I love it, I wasn't getting it. I don't mind it. It's wicked fucking smooth. It's fine. I would put this at a B, honestly. For everything that we've tried so far, this is the best, yeah. in my opinion. So yeah, that's going B. Still not good. No. Like, I would not drink that on ice. No. I wouldn't drink any of these alone. Well, I might drink them alone. <laughs> that was really a dark place. Would you drink them with a mouse? Well, I would drink them in my house. Would you drink them with my spouse? <laughs> Dude, I can't fucking until my first divorce. <laughs> I know it's coming. Oh, there's no way that you're gonna be happily married for that. Oh, dude, <laughs> I, I am destined to be a single father. <laughs> it's coming soon, I can feel it. I'm gonna be a single father in the way that like a, like a Ryan Gosling movie would go if he was a single father. And it's just like, kind of sad, but he's charming and he's got some like funny jokes throughout the movie, but it's depressing, you know. Is this the one that the dude said was the best? This is Matthew McConaughey, it was this, Matthew yes. McConaughey. Uh -huh. I want to open it. Because I, <laughs> I don't get to do anything anymore. Oh, that, mm, I got tequila on my legs. <laughs> oh my god, they're actually pantalones now. It smells like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why it's called pantalones. Let's get this done with. <laughs> I don't know. I do. I don't, I don't like it. Put that on the side, I'm giving it a D. I'm gonna give that a C. The boo arrow. Yeah. Who is this? Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg. No. This is gonna <laughs> taste like a fucking donkey's <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just turned into like a fucking. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, woof. Oh, that's what the not fuck? good. Oh. Oh, 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 that smells like a sauce. <laughs> I'm dead. Sick. It smells like a sauce, like a cheap ketchup-based barbecue sauce. Yeah, it actually does a little bit. We have to do this quickly. <laughs> 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 I thought you were gonna throw that at me. Ugh. It tastes like rancid. It's like that, that doesn't taste like it's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, because it's bad, but you know what I mean? No, that tastes like it has gone fallow. Yeah, that's gone bad. That's gross. Ultra premium? Ultra premium. Come here, my dear boy. Come here. I don't, I don't want to. Oh, what? This is the final surprise. Combining every alcohol into one solid liquid. Oh, Lobos. You mean bastard man. That is a lot of Lobos. <laughs> oh no. Apollonis. Apollonis. Fart juice. Oh, I can feel my liver quivering in fear. Oh. That's all of them. Now, come to me. We will sniff at the same time. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. It doesn't really smell like anything. You know exactly what that smells like? Mm. It smells like casino. It kind of just smells like girl perfume. Girl perfume. Girl perfume. Uh, honestly, I'm getting mostly that in the nose, where it's just like, there's the watermelon thing. Hey, we're gonna love that. Give me our new favorite freaking drink. <laughs> Don't do it yet. Just smell it again. Yeah, just getting, getting comfortable with it. 
Mm. I'm turning my hat into attack mode. <laughs> Here's to the heroes, the old and the new, the bold and the brash and the in the, in, the, in the brave and the crew. In the brave and the crew. They come from all sorts of shapes and sizes. They they save you from nightmares and evil surprises. <laughs> These heroes, they do us good and nice. They give us nice things with sugar and spice. These heroes of celebrity coming to me. Give me a drink and give it to thee. For we pour us a glass and we and we shake our little ass. We have a good time. Oh yeah, it's a blast. But don't forget, sinners, drink responsibly now. For if you don't, then you'll be dead like the burger and cow. Don't be a criminal. Be a good, be a, be a, be really good. Treat everyone well in your neighborhood. Now don't forget that you are my friend. <laughs> my friend. And we'll go through life until our inevitable end. Now please raise your glass and raise it real high because we'll, tonight we will go until we touch the big sky. That big sky. Don't forget that when you go to bed, it'll be really nice. You'll rest your sweet head. Now here's to the miser. <laughs> <laughs> Just now here's and it's like God. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> well, that burns forever. Oh, oh. I almost actually threw it. <laughs> Every ounce of that was. Wow, that wasn't even a full ounce of that, but you know what I mean? Every piece of that was bad. Well, Andrew, we've done it today. We've done it real good. I. Can't not speak in rhymes. This was rough. That the was celebrity bad. alcohol that round two. That was bad. They didn't impress me. Not a one impressed me. For uh, for a group of liquors with such little flavor, they really they came together to heart to heart. Let us know what your favorite alcohol was, because you could taste it. Because I'm guessing it was fucking none of these. Andrew, do you have anything you want to plug? Um, your ass. <laughs> Look at the camera. Hi, you can follow me uh, at Planky Ramblin if you want, but that's about it. Good night. How you doing, man? I just can't do this anymore. <laughs>